guys, so today I have swatches of some new colors from Cirque Colors. There are three polishes here all together, two new colors and then one reissue, re-release of Acid Wash. These are available right now, so I will link the website down below. Three polishes here all together and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is a comeback polish. This is Acid Wash. This was released, ooh, a couple years ago, I believe. Could be wrong. This is a white curly base with a ton of little tiny blue metallic flakies, and then I believe there's some like grayish little flakes in there as well, and I did catch a little hint of multi-chrome in there also. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. It is a Corelli, so that's not super surprising. It covers fairly evenly. I have a couple of streaks, but they're really not that bad. I do find I get a little bit too much polish on my brush for what I need for my nails, though, so I'm having to scrape some back off into the bottle every once in a while. And a good formula on this polish as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. The flakies that are in here are really nice. They're very small, so you don't have to try to like manipulate them or be really deliberate about where you put them on the nail. They spread out on their own pretty well. And they are very small and light, so they're not going to stick to the nail like a glitter would. So that is two coats of Acid Wash. The next polish is called Subculture, and this is a silver holographic, and it looks like it has a little tiny bit of fine holographic micro glitter in there as well. So this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. The information that I have from Cirque mentions this as like a standalone polish but I definitely feel like it's sheer enough on one coat that you could use it as a topper. Maybe not so much over lighter colors, because I think it would gray them out a little bit too much, but you could easily use it as a holographic topper over a dark color. And good formula on this as well. So now that this is fully dry, you can see it actually looks a lot more opaque, the first coat does, than it did initially because the holographic effect got so much stronger after it dried fully. This covers completely for me in two coats. I believe I did three in the picture, but I was watching a movie and I got like kind of distracted and just added a third coat and I was halfway through the third coat before I realized I didn't really need one. Also, Cirque says that this is made from pure holographic pigments, which would explain why it is so strong once it's dried. So I'm actually going to let this coat fully dry before I come back so you can see what it looks like. So now that you can see how much stronger the holographic effect is now that it's fully dry, so that is two coats of Subculture. And the last polish is called Delirium, and this is a really fine scattered holographic topper. And I'm layering this over another polish from Cirque Colors. This one is Rehab. So this one covers nice and evenly over that base color, which is what's important when you use a topper like this, a scattered topper like this. You want it to be nice and even. This nail is still a little bit wet because I smudged it and had to redo it, so I went easy on that. Formula on this is pretty good. I don't have to do any kind of crazy manipulation to get it spread out evenly. And those flakes are, well, it's like really tiny scattered holographic flakes and whatnot. So they're not going to stick to the nail like a glitter. They're not going to be difficult to remove and they shouldn't dry textured at all either. I, forgive me, I can't speak today. It's very early. So that is one coat of Delirium over Rehab. I don't know if I'm allowed to pick Acid Wash as my favorite or not because it is a re-release, but I mean, if I have to pick one out of the three, I really, really like this. I like all of Cirque's speckled polishes. I think they are so cool. And you know how I feel about Corelli's with like little tiny glitter and flaky elements anyway. So really, really like this one. So those are some new releases from Cirque Colors. Again, I will link that website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.